ladies and gentlemen of the YouTubes, welcome back to Let's Play Rise of Flight. Previously, we went on a bit of a botched um, ground attack mission. And by botched, I mean I don't think any of us hit the target at all. We got intercepted by a bunch of jerrys on, on route, and um, we, we gave them a damn good thrashing, actually, in the end. Um, we all got a bit split up, but by some miracle, none of us actually died. Um, and I pretty much flat out saved somebody's life by shooting down a green-tailed albatross that was um, shooting him to bits. I uh, never really found out exactly what happened to him in the end, actually, or who it was. Um, but, uh, yeah, we saved him either way, because he was pretty much dead, if not if not for us, because that albatross was giving him the works with his twin Spandau machine guns. Uh, you could hear them chattering away, and it was all sort of a bit stressful, because I was like, Oh, God, I don't want him to die! Uh, anyway... We have officially survived a week in the Royal Flying Corps. It is now the 8th of May. We joined on the 1st. So, yeah, we've made it to the 8th of May. We've, we've survived a week. Now, if we can survive another week, we will have beaten the average for new pilots in the RFC. So, that's not too bad. We've lost Albert Ball. Um, he's gone the way of the dodo, unfortunately, um, as he did in, historically in real life. Our squadron at the moment consists of Con Major Conway Vaudry, Captain Garth Pelletoot, Lieutenant Arden Sheraton, Bertie, Bertie, um, then us. We're at the top of the list of um, second lieutenants for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, then it's Hamlin Dennis, Aubrey Young, Forbes Bowett, and Reginald Hoyge. I'm pretty sure Forbes Bowett's the newest member of the squadron. Reginald's relatively new, but he's already... He's obviously transferred from somewhere else, because he has 19 missions and 3 victories, so... Um, he's pretty experienced. Whereas poor old Forbes and Aubrey... Um, are not doing so great. Hamlin's got a little bit more experience under his belt. Um, we're doing alright, though. 5 missions and 5 victories, which makes us an ace. Um, officially, which is pretty cool. Um, we, the, the game doesn't recognise us as an ace until we get 10 victories, though. I mean, I think that's when they actually bother to put us on the top aces board or, or something, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's something to work work towards. If we continue at the rate that we've been going to FL, we'll be, a, we'll be on the top aces board at the end of the week. Um, but anyway, yeah, so uh, not bad, not bad so far. We've survived a week. Um, we still haven't been given any medals or anything, which kind of makes me sad. Oh, no, we have. We've got a military cross. I must, I must have just sort of skipped over it or something. Um, I looked at the footage a little while ago. I guess, did it pop up or not? Well, whatever. We got a military cross, presumably for getting five kills, which is reasonable, I feel. So there we go. We've got our MC. As well as our pilot badge. I'm quite, quite pleased with that, honestly. Um, jolly marvellous. That's our... Pilot dossier. Two D3s, a D5, another D3, and a D2 late. Yep. So, what has the campaign generator got for install for us this time? Oh, one more thing, actually, before we go any further. I have made some changes to the config. I've put... I've noticed, actually, and it never occurred to me at the time until I, I was sort of thinking while I, back, while I was watching the footage... We've not run into any Fleck, or Archie as it was called by the pilots back then, um, at all. Which is a little odd, honestly, because we should be running into it quite frequently. Um, and I wondered if it had something to do with the fact that the ground and structure density were both on low, so I've cranked those both up to high. I'm leaving air density on low for the minute, and we'll gradually, I think, move that up as the months go on. I think once we get into June and July, I'm going to move up to medium and then high and see how we get on. Uh, I'm hoping, uh, for the minute I'm just sort of settling into things, um, but yeah, I'm hoping eventually when we do crank up the air density, um, the AI will start being a little bit less retarded because there's more planes around, so um, it'll just make things a bit more challenging. So, because there is an abundance of planes at the minute who just, when you shoot at them, stay flying straight and level, which is, you know, every now and again, okay, maybe it's acceptable, um, but when it happens all the time, it's getting a bit silly. Uh, so, unless they're wounded or something like that, which is fair enough. But uh, yeah, it, it's starting to get a bit like, really, really, 
AI? Is that your response to being shot at? I mean, supposedly a pilot's default reflex response to being attacked was to actually dive and try and run away. Um, but obviously that didn't always work, especially when the enemy plane was faster. Um, so uh, I, I guess maybe they're trying to run away. I mean, I know I've seen a couple of Albatride sort of when we got on their tail, they, they dove away as if to run away from us, but we kept catching them up because they couldn't escape us because they were too slow. And that makes total sense, and that's what novice pilots did, and that's how they got killed. Um, but yeah, anyway, so... Let's go to the mission screen. What will it cook up for us, I wonder? I've made a few changes to the mission creating algorithms as well, so that we tend to get... We as the Allies tend to get more offensive stuff, and the Germans will get more defensive stuff, because that's how it was in real life. The Germans flew very, very defensively. Whereas the Allies flew very offensively. Okay. Uh, we've got another spaghetti intercept of doom, by the looks of things. Intercept enemy aircraft near Puissieux. Um, okay, what time is it then? It's 6.30 in the morning. One of these days I'm going to make it so if we get another patrol mission, and if it doesn't do it for us, I'm going to make us, give us a dawn patrol. Where we start off at 4 in the morning. Because uh, that's what they did. In real life, it's just it, the game. The, the generator doesn't seem to give you any many dawn patrols, which is a shame because I've I've always wanted to do one. Um, the game looks quite in gets quite interesting when it's dark. Actually, um, I don't know if you can do a night fighter campaign, but um, it'd be cool if you could because it's quite in, quite. A, the game just looks totally different at night. It's quite striking. Anyway, um, wind is four miles per hour. Cloud layer is a thousand meters. It's assigned as Bertie Loddington, me, and Aubrey. I'm tempted to maybe just go with the three of us and you know, gamble a bit, I suppose, and just say, yeah, fine, we'll go with three guys. Um, you know. I, I guess. Yeah, alright then. Alright then. I'll have a Vic of three planes and see how we get on. It's usually just in before we get ambushed by 12. Germans. Or run into like the whole of the Astra 11 and Manfred von Richthofen himself and there'll just be three of us sitting there like um shit <laughs> but whatever, whatever, let's live dangerously okay well I'll be back when we're in the game itself okay chaps here we are, this is the mission plan I, I, I use plan in the lucid sense of the term, possibly with or without, inverted commas but there it is um, let's, let's go, shall we? At least it won't be a long flight by the looks of things. Um, yes, uh, there's a description. Ah, there we go. We get a little bit more information, but not very much. Medium cloud cover, low altitude. Bah. That's a bit useless, the game, but okay, fine. I can't remember exactly what it said in the, in the damned mission editor, so. Whatever. Whatever. Send it my view. Mixture up to full. Start the engine. Hello, Bertie. Bertie's leading today, apparently, and Aubrey is flying on my right. That's, that's fine. Why is the game stuttering and lagging? I don't like it. Don't do it, game, please. For the love of all that's holy. That took you too long enough, didn't it? All right. We're going, we're going, we're not wasting any time, we're off. We've got to look at the wind sock. I think we're going to be okay. We're slightly downwind, but it's a tiny, tiny wind, so. And we're airborne, yeah, we're good. Come on, Aubrey. No lollygagging, come on. <laughs> Probably be doing an echelon right as usual, so I'll have to see if I can. Whoa, wind is getting a bit crazy. Um, see if I can form that next to him here. Lower the mixture a bit. Forgot to do that before we took off. That should do it. All right, I think we're good. We seem to be okay. I think we're side slipping a bit. It's difficult to tell though. I think there should be a side slip bometer in here somewhere. I don't know what the technical term is. Hello, Bertie. Um, 
Yeah, I, but whatever. It just feels odd. It feels like we're slipping in one direction over the other. Having to apply a lot of rudder here just to stay, you know, relatively straight line. Um, right then, well, I guess, um, something could happen very, very quickly, to be fair, considering how close we are to the intercept point. We're practically intercepting something attacking our own area, but, um, I'm going to cut the recording just to save time anyway. So yeah, I'll be back when when we found something. By Jove. God, Zooks, Bertie, I just spotted some dots. Three of them. Over the there somewhere. Um, they're higher than us, which is never a good thing. Um, I didn't, I just, I thought almost thought there were specks on my screen then for a second. I thought, oh, well, they're awfully symmetrical, the specks on my screen. I do need to clean my screen, by the way, actually, but, um, keep up, Audrey. Honestly, Audrey, Aubrey, I, I do apologize. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing that's probably what we're supposed to be intercepting, though. I can't see what else it would be. Yep, they're over there. Controlling the plane is still feeling a little awkward, frankly, but the, it's not so bad now. There was a definite layer of turbulence down there. Oh shit, we're diving. What have you found, Bertie? What have you found, my dear chap? What have you discovered? Let's dial back the throttle a tad before we start over speeding. Or over revving, really. Hey, we're okay. Well, slow the. How do you do that, Bertie? You just. I'm applying rudder here, and I'm still not managing to slow down enough. Good grief, man. So what did you find? There were three dots up there that looked distinctly hunnish, and yet you dove away from them. I suppose you've just figured discretion was the better part of valor, I suppose, but never mind. Oh god, please, man, not through the clouds. Not through the... Oh god. Well, folks, we're pretty much guaranteed to lose sight of the formation now, or crash into them. I am unsure as to which. See, I, oh, clouds are the worst. I, I thought I was going upwards. Turns out I wasn't. This, the days, obviously, before artificial horizons became a thing. At least we've not lost sight of them completely. Oi! Jesus Christ, man. Good heavens. <laughs> uh, right. Ah, <laughs> oh, I hate clouds, what can I say? In real life it's a little easier, only a little, mind you, to, to navigate through clouds because you can tell which way up you are just by virtue of gravity. If the blood starts rushing to your head, then yeah, you're probably upside down. But um, in this, it's almost impossible to figure out. Right. Dots. Okay, Bertie's not lost it completely. He knows what he's doing. We found some dots that are actually below us for once. So, all right, old chap. I will slow the fuck down because apparently you have for some reason. I'm trying to slip in with you here. There's only three of us, so we really do need to stick together. We've we've left Aubrey five billion miles behind, but never mind. I've grown rather fond of Bertie, so I'd rather stick with him. What have we got here, then? Definitely Huns. Round tails. Yep. Round tails with that sort of bird-like elevator at the back. Whoa! What the fuck are you doing, dude? Good God almighty. One of these days, you're going to kill me, and you're going to kill yourself in the process. What are we doing? Do explain. They're, they're turning towards us, mate. We've lost the element of surprise. Um, where are you? There you are. Oh, dear. Right, sorry, Bertie, but I'm afraid it's, it's increasingly looking like you're going to have to act as bait. Yep, there, and they're coming for you. Oh, no, 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 that's Aubrey. So, hey, look, we've got Burst of Flak. Excellent. Right, now, here's the rule with Flak. If it's white slash light grey Flak, it's ours. If it's black, Puffs, it's theirs. I 
think some, I think it's a mix of both at the moment. Right, we seem to have. Uh, Birdie's sort of not. I don't think he can't quite make up his mind as to what we're actually going to do. He seems to just be jockeying for position at the moment. I think the little stutters I might be getting are either because I've got some things running in the background that I shouldn't be, or because I put the ground and structure density up, so there's more being rendered every time I turn my head. I don't think structure density might matter so much. I think it's ground density we really want for the flak and such. Oh, now we're going up again. Where are you? Oh. Good heavens, when I get promoted to lieutenant, I tell you, I'm going to lead a flight for once. Maybe we'll actually get something done instead of this. can send out hand signals, but I can't send, do anything sort of in the way of orders saying like I'm going to attack or anything. You only get that sort of stuff when you're leading a flight, when you're in charge, so to speak. So I, mm, I'm a bit stumped. I guess I can show you what it looks like though, if nothing else. Um, for example, I press that, press one, oops, one, and then... Five, because there's stuff off on our right. Look, over there, chaps. They're down there. <laughs> yeah, they're not paying any attention, though. All right, well, we are in officially right now the world's least effective formation. Um, line of stern, it's, it's pretty useless, generally speaking, when it comes to aerial combat, but fine. It seems to be what we've settled on. Because Bertie doesn't know when to cut throttle. Not that he's incapable of cutting throttle, he just cuts it at the most ridiculous of times. Like, we're diving into attack, right? Better cut throttle and slow all the way down. Ah, oh, the other two are straggling behind me and struggling to keep up. Well, better go full throttle then. He's got it backwards. Strange man. Well, we did find some albatrosses, but we've sort of just let them go on their merry way, because Bert over there doesn't think that um, attacking them would be such a good idea. I, I guess no one's actually bothered to inform him there is in fact a war on. Partly it's tempted to leave these two idiots behind, but that's just looking for trouble, really. Don't want to end up in a situation where it's me versus three Germans like we've been in before. I really ultimately just sort of kind of caught a lucky break and managed to get away with just a set of oil spattered goggles. Look at these guys, they're pulling away from me like mad, aren't they? I need to adjust my fuel mixture to try and get a few more RPMs out of the engine here. I don't seem to be getting much more out of it. Ugh. Slow the fuck down, you retards! I'm having to deal with turbulence and all sorts of shit here. You're not. Oh, well. Bugger it. I guess I'll be back, folks, when... Oh, hang on a minute. Just as soon as I say that. Bert starts diving on something. What are you doing, man? What are you playing at? I should very much like to know. Don't see anything, old bean. Where's where's Aubrey gone? I don't want to smash into him by through sheer carelessness. We're losing loads of height. Wow. Okay. Is it all in aid of something? Or are we just losing height because you're having one of your funny turns? 
Yeah, God, he's miles away down there. What the hell are you doing, Bert? Come on. Oh, I swear to Christ. Sometimes I think it would have been better just to go with the in-game career mode, because the AI is so much less retarded than in Pat Wilson's campaign generator. I'm sorry, Pat, if you're watching. I love your campaign generator, but your AI is just weird. It just behaves so, so strangely, and I don't think I need to... I mean, the evidence is right, sat right in front of us right now on my screen. I mean, you do a you do a in-game career mission or you're a quick mission or something like that. The the two sides get stuck in and start fighting each other, and there's nothing more to it. But in this, they're sort of a bit skittish, and they start making diving attacks on targets that don't exist, like now, for instance. Uh, great, now Flax starting to shoot at me. What the fuck is he doing? I... I don't even know, I'm not going to follow him, he's just going to get himself killed. I'm sorry chum, but... Uh, I wonder if this is that bug where they just keep circling until they hit the ground. What's this? Flat bursts, not planes. Bollocks. Map time. What do we have? Out oh, well, there's loads of planes out that way. Loads of fucking planes, according to the map. Let's go this way, then. Now they've all disappeared off my map. Wonderful. Oh no, they're over there. Oh, it's all going on here. Oh, maybe they were diving on something, because it's all... This way, apparently. I can't see any fucking thing, though. I mean, I'm just going to have to put icons on. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and I would have seen him if I had been looking at the direction when I saw him firing. Oh, God. Yeah, there's definitely stuff happening. I don't know if it's involving any of our guys, but... Yeah, there's an SE-5 there who's in trouble. There's a couple of... Albatry... Oh, it's green-tailed guys again, huh. Oh my... Oh, look at all the buffeting. I, can, I can't even just... Uh, staying on target's not even an option right now. Oi. Turbulence is insane. Let's try and go for this guy here. Look at this, look at this. I'm not I'm not bouncing the stick around or anything, it's just Right, got some hits on him there, yeah, he's in trouble now. Okay. Manage that at least. So we can come back around after him again or what? I see five down there. Right, I think we found the scrap that the other guys were descending into. I was just sort of... It's never a good sign when you when you assume that it's more likely the AI is being ridiculously bugged than it is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing, is it really? Where have we got? Are these albatross? I can't quite tell, you know. They don't look quite like albatrosses. There might be something bigger, like DFWs, I'm not sure. Two-seaters and whatnot. Yeah, I think so, it's a DFW. Alright, we need to be careful then, because he's got a rear gunner. Oh boy. We're taking shots, alright. I don't like two-seaters, they're scary. For the reasons you can see right here. Now, the range they're shooting at me from, and with alarming amounts of accuracy as well. I might, if I'm going after those guys again, I think I'm just going to use the Foster Mount. I'm not going to take any chances. But, in the meantime, there's actually more stuff going on. We've got a 
fellow SE5. Who are you? It's Aubrey. Hello, Aubrey. How are you doing? You going after the two seaters? You can attack two seaters if you've got more than one person with you. I mean, it's a team effort, really. However, ah, that's our albatross. Is it the one we shot earlier? I don't think so. The smoke trail will be longer if it was. If it's an albatross, I'm not sure. No, it's not. It's another two seater, I think. Hello, old chap. Are we going to attack this guy or what? What do you think? No? Well, apparently not. We're doing something else entirely. Are you following me now? Yeah, he is. We're the leader, I guess. Bertie went down. Shit. Well then. Uh, what have we got here? Two. I can't tell what all these do. Colony. Follow our mission. Accept the leadership. Attack air. Patrol. You know what? Hold formation and cover me. I'm going in. And he's just. I think he just sent up a green flare to acknowledge. Yes. I imagine. Yeah, he shot that up. Or we shot the green flare. I'm not sure who, to be honest with you. But anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. I hope you are covering me and you're not just doing your own thing. Well, the Germans have gotten away from us now. This, this is unacceptable. Oh, there's still loads of stuff in the air. Let's go this way. Let's see what we can find. Let our hunt continue. Oh, 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 that's not good. That is really not good. Uh, neither is that. Shit. Um, I, n I need to be really careful now. Um, if I'm going into dives and such. In fact, it might be advisable for me to just return to base. Because that wing damage is going to make... It doesn't. might not look like much now, but it could cause me some real problems. If I'm going incredibly fast. I don't want to tear off a lower wing. That would be incredibly bad. I'm not, I'm not ready to quit just yet. I'm not. Let's go this way. Uh, Aubrey? Oh, he's still with me. He's just sort of hanging back a bit. Alright, fair enough. I'll cut throttle a bit just so he can try and catch up. There you go, mate. Oh, hello. Right, what commands can we give you? Attack, control, right commands. Return to base, attack, air. Control, air. Hold position. No, none of that for now. Let's just keep him following us. Found some German two-seaters by the looks of things. Oh, I, I did a second ago. Where the hell have we got, they gone? Um. <laughs> I've lost them. Yeah, do you see them, Aubrey? Oh, I don't. Oh, f fiddlesticks! This is not good. Right, magical map. Show me where the bastards have gone. Seem to have either disappeared entirely or 
Hang on a minute. Are we... Where the fuck are we going? We're going... East. It's all out here somewhere now. I... Oh, oh, oh! A thing! I see a thing. Let's go and get it. Well, we've got the sun on our backs. We're attacking from their lines towards them. We're doing all the things we should be doing. Perhaps we can catch this guy off guard. We're just lost again. Where the hell have you gone? There he is. There he is. God, spotting is so hard. I can see it is exhaust from here now, so this should be a little easier. the speed because of that wing as I've already said. I'm looking for a quick easy kill that we can sort of isolate that's by himself like this fella here. I'm not looking for a, a dogfight. What are you? What on earth are you? I think, is it a Roland? It might be a Roland. I think it's a Roland, yeah. All right, I'm going to get under him. Taking any chances. Very slow, Rollins. Very slow. Oi, you should not be able to shoot at that angle, you bastard. You cheating muppet. Um. Oh, it was jammed. Okay, right. Um, this is actually quite tricky. Hey, hey, snad. Alright, we've got a shot into him, he's leaking. We need to reload. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. The yeah, attacking's a soft underbelly. It's working, you know. Oh, look at all those holes. Excellent. He's pulling up. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was some nastily close flak. Ow. I heard the bang and everything. I thought I was a goner. Fucking hell. Come on. I'll pull off him. Um, how do I... There we go, that's the button. Aubrey's still with me. He's still covering me. Uh, listen, old chap, why don't you just shoot the guy? Oh, no, better yet, just actually shoot the guy. Don't patrol, I just did the patrol instead. Whoops. <laughs> right, if we're a little lucky, we might have killed his gunner at this point. So, uh, let's see if we can finish him off with the Vickers. Tough beast, isn't it, though? It's slow. But it's tough. Rather obsolete, these things, actually. They've been around since, I think, 1915, so... Aubrey, are you gonna attack this, this fella? Please do. Be my guess. I don't, I don't really mind if we have, a sh have to share a victory. Uh, he's going for him. Look, look at that. Excellent. Good man. He's been very cautious, though, too, which I don't blame him for at all. I think he measure engine might have stopped. Yeah, it has. Uh, I'm going to go home after we've dealt with this guy, though, so I want to make sure... You know, we could get him led and glide to the ground, but the thing is, this guy's a two-seater. He might be carrying... What the hell? Okay, I thought I heard bullets hitting my plane there. Oh, shit, I did! What the hell's going on? Are you injured? 
Are those ground MGs firing at us? I think they are. Yeah, there's anti-aircraft guns on the ground. Fuck. This is where you get flying around at low altitude. Right, screw the Roland, never mind. I was going to say that he might be carrying reconnaissance photographs or something, but I am not interested otherwise. Um, um, two, uh, no. Two. Cover me, dude. We're going home. Wow, I'm so injured at the minute that I'm having trouble controlling the plane. I haven't used the trim wheel quite a lot. Oh, that's really, he's really weak because of this injury we've got. It's lucky that's all we got, really. Let's go home, let's go home, let's go west. West, west, west. At this point, I don't really care so much if we get back to our own airfield. I just want to get down on the ground on our own lines. I'll tell Aubrey to go back to base if he's still with us at that point. Yep, ground unit intensity definitely made a difference, all right. <laughs> I'd gotten complacent because there wasn't much of it around, but now if we go very particularly low, we're going to get shot to bits by flak, it seems. At least I'm assuming it was flak. There might have been another plane around. I just couldn't see the bugger. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, now you've got an inkling of why pilots hated flying at low altitude so much. Because this is why. This here, and this red screen of mine. Barely see a fucking thing. Where the hell are we? I need to look for my... So we found Mayu, we know we're on the right track. Oh yeah, there's, okay, there's the river. So I think we need to go south for a bit. Oof, right, let's have a look. We're in a bit of a state. Yeah, look at that wing. It's all warped and full of holes and stuff. It's not good. Should maybe sliding down a bit actually just because of that wing. But yeah, not not brilliant. We've had better days, that's for sure. Any other holes anywhere? Yep, quite a few in the tail, I think. Oof. Uh, anyway. I don't think we're bleeding out, which is the good news. Everything's just sort of a haze, isn't it, really? I can't tell. Or anything. Ah, okay, that's my there. Okay, so we need to go this way. Roughly. Somewhere out there is our home. I just can't see a damn thing. Well, we'll be out of action for a while at least after this injury. Oh, is that... It's Aubrey! Thank Christ! <laughs> Last thing I could deal with right now is an albatross on my tail. Thank you for accompanying me back. I'll have to give him the return of base order once we get home. So he doesn't crash trying to follow me onto the ground. I don't know if they do that in this game. They certainly used to do it in IL-2, so... Where's home? That's home there, I think. Just through all the, all the red mist, I can see it. Right... Okay, we're pretty much here now. Um, I'm going to give Aubrey here the order to return to base. Um, that's not the button to use. 
Um, return to base. There we go. I just sent up a flare, a white flare, I think, and off he goes. Right. Um, yeah. Now, here's an interesting thing. We've been using, shooting off green flares every time we got back to base. Just sort of to say, oh, everything's okay, I'm coming to land. Ironically, I have since learned that a green flare um, meant distress. <laughs> As it actually turns out. Um, yeah, a green flare meant distress. The, the flare gun's not just sort of an affectation. They did actually carry them. Um... And they, they, the different colours meant different things. Um, they were encouraged not to use them, of course, because it blo blows away your position to just everybody in the area, naturally. But um, uh, they did use them. It was one of the pieces of equipment they carried with them. Um, so yeah, right now, really, I should be firing a green flare because I am in distress. <laughs> but yeah, they did carry strange things like that. For example, they also carried um, a hammer. And you know, why do they carry a hammer with them, Dave? Uh, well, it's because when the guns got jammed, you see the cocking handle here. That would get stuck, basically. And they took the hammer, and they would have a little holster for it in the cockpit. Um, and the, basically, the hammer was for... Well, when your guns jammed, you'd get that out, and then you'd bash the cocking handle with a hammer until it became unstuck. And that's really all there was to it. So, yeah... <laughs> It was incredibly advanced technology for its time, but it is a bit laughable by today's standards, I've got to, got to admit. Um, right. Let's do another little circuit here, and then I'll come into land. The problem is, I don't know where Aubrey is, and I don't want to crash into him either. There he is. Looks like he's on him. Might, might be on his final approach as well. Uh, we all really ought to have priority because we're injured, but... You know, we don't exactly have a radio, so I can't tell him I'm injured. Yeah, he's coming into land now. Over the top of the hangars like a boss. Don't crash into the crate, Aubrey. Okay, you're good. Now, can I land this while horribly, horribly injured? That's the question. And not crash into Aubrey, obviously. <sighs> Oof, bit, bit rough, bit rough, but we made it. Let's bring it around this way. We'll taxi back up. Where's Aubrey? Where's he despawned? Probably despawned already, actually. The game is ruthlessly efficient with the despawning. Yeah, around about here I shall do. There we go. Fill out the mixture. Switch off the ignition and then... Medic! 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 Orderly! Help! <laughs> I've been shot! God knows how many bloody times! Oh dear. Okay, we're back on the, uh, the campaign screen. Let's go to the combat report. See how we got on. Right, I'm going to claim one. And it was the Roland C2. Um, we effectively destroyed it. It, was, it had no engine, so we, we didn't see it go down. We certainly had um, Aubrey with us to confirm that we did destroy it, its engine and, and whatnot. In fact, he had a hand in doing it. So, uh, by all rights, we should really share the kill. I don't know if that, if the, I don't know if the, the campaign generator actually sort of does that shares kills. I know IL2 did, um, but we'll see. So yeah, I'll submit report. So, can we, let's, 
let's have a look. We flew out this way, and then we flew that way and that way, and then oh uh, yeah, Bertie Loddington was destroyed by an albatross D2, or or D3. It's just the text is cut off, unfortunately. We damaged an albatross D3. And, ah, one of the DFWs was shot down by friendly 13 pounder flak. Albatross D3 was destroyed. Let me flew over there and then back again. And then, apparently I destroyed an Albatross D3. I guess it must have been that one we shot earlier and then it eventually crashed. Um, then we damaged that Roland. And then that crashed. Uh, where, did it, where did it crash? That's what I want to know. Yeah, it barely made it back to its own lines there, see. Or, I don't know, it might have counted as destroyed as soon as its engine stopped, actually. I think that's the way the game works. Um, so, yeah, that's a definite destroyed, as far as the thing's concerned. And then, yeah, we were damaged by LMG something or other. Um, yeah, a light machine gun, basically, on the ground, shot us to bits. Then we flew back here, all the way home to base at Lille Villiers, and we landed. All right then, debrief completed. Oh my goodness, how many messages? Um, right, combat reports. Successes include the following. And, uh, oh, it credited me with an Albatross D3 instead of the Roland. It's a bit weird. Yeah, sometimes it does that. <sighs> yeah, whatever, I don't really care, I guess. Um, and Bertie managed to shoot one down as well. Uh, but he was unfortunately killed in the process. Um, maybe he collided with one of them. And, yeah, we were injured. Pilot lost. Oh, it's, yeah, we were lost, essentially, because we were injured. Um, yeah, it's my duty to inform that Second Lieutenant Sir David Crumpington has been injured in combat with the enemy with enemy forces. He will be unavailable for a period of some weeks. Yeah, that was on the 8th of May we got injured. We lost Bertie. Damn. I feel like that's partially my fault because I didn't bother following him when I thought he was just playing, doing, you know, just being playing silly buggers essentially. But he turns out he wasn't. He had actually spotted something. Oh, uh, well. Uh, we got the wound stripe. Hooray. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bertie got the posthumous wound stripe. And we got Lieutenant Forbes. Bowit in replacement of him. Second Lieutenant Forbes Bowit. Uh, and... Ooh! Ooh! G Beery Bowman has been transferred to number 56 Squadron. Well, I'll be damned. He's a, a real guy. He's a real person. He's not a, um, you know, an auto-generated person. I guess he must have moved to 56 Squadron on the 10th of May in real life, and so here he is. Sweet! Awesome! Um, Aubrey Young been transferred from number 56. Okay, right, Aubrey's been transferred away. Interesting. He's gone to another squadron. Oh, shame. We went through a lot together, we did, <laughs> on that last mission, the pair of us. Um, I have to admit, though, the game is more fun when you're in charge, isn't it? Because the dumb AI doesn't make a difference. I can just tell him, attack that Roland, and he'll, and he'll do it. Um... Uh, Nathan Hansart has been transferred to number 56. P.F. Reese Davids has been transferred to number 56. I think he might be another real one as well. Um, squadron has moved. We've been moved to Bayou. Bayou. Apparently. Where the hell's that, I wonder? Uh, oh, Rene Dorm is dead. He's been killed. And Carl Schaefer has been killed as well. Blimey, well. Vazla, that was a shit ton of messages to read in one go. Um, finished. So, wow, the squadron's fucking huge now. We've got loads of guys. Um, yeah. Daniel Arden. Amory Newman. He's new. As us, obviously. Arthur P.F. Reese Davids. Yeah, with a name like that, there's no way he isn't. A um, unique person. Hamlin Dennis, Nathan Hansett, Roger Bladewell, interesting name, and G.H. Beery Bowman. Let's have a look at you then, matey. 
she shot down a Roland and a balloon. He's got a DFC. Damn it! Blast it all! Why don't I get a DFC? I've shot down more than him. <laughs> Let's see. Right. Um, not a lot of victories between us, but um, I I'm all right though. I've got seven missions and six victories. But uh, yeah, definitely a lot of experience, guys. Beery Bowman's got 46 missions after all. But that's how it was in real life, really. Um, there were a lot of missions where they just sort of go up and then they fly around and they wouldn't find anything. Um, there was a lot of missions like that, in fact. It was quite common to just go up and then never find anything. Or much less get to shoot at anything. Um, so as a result, in real life, the, the number of missions to victories ratio is much bigger. Like, like Beery Bowman, for example, he's got a more realistic thing, obviously, because that's what he got in real life at this point. Um, whereas us, we've got seven missions and six victories, which is ridiculous. Um, there's an option in the config to make it so that for every mission you fly in the game, it adds like three missions on board, so it looks a bit more realistic. But I don't. I'm not. I'm not doing that simply because um, I just want to keep a track of how many missions I actually have done. Um, rather than it looking realistic on the board. I don't really give a damn about that. Um, so, yeah. Quite an experienced squadron though. Look, look we've got loads of um, missions. Missions. Smissions. I would, I'd, my brain couldn't decide whether or not to say sorties or missions. So it said both. <laughs> yeah, but we've got a lot of experience under our belts. A lot of us. Not a lot of kills yet, but a lot of experience. Reg Hoyge is doing ridiculously though. He's got eight eight kills now. He's doing better than me. Good grief. Well, anyway, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I I approve. Uh, I wonder if we've got time for another mission. I'll have to check. Uh, no. No, we don't have enough time for another mission, sadly. We've, this is close to an hour now, just for this one mission. But to be fair, it was a very eventful, interesting, and bizarre mission, in equal measure. And scary at the end as well, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, then, next Sunday, guys, we'll be back um, with a fully manned squadron, um, I guess. But at this point, we've been a bit undermanned previously. Um... And we'll get to fly with a few more real-life pilots, which will be fun. They'll all they'll all die, surely. Uh, I've noticed that every time I say, oh, well, I'd like to keep this guy alive, he dies immediately. So, <laughs> But uh, anyway, yeah, that, it should be interesting nonetheless. I wonder if any of them have got unique skins, probably. At least one or two. Um, but yeah. Cool beans. Uh, yeah, and that's it for now. We'll see you again next Sunday. Chaps! Uh, in the meantime, tally-ho chocks away and have jolly good fun in my absence, what? <laughs>